I only recently started learning more about Indian history and current day politics. One question popped into my mind. How is the writer Rudyard Kipling viewed in India today? Uh, him being English and all that. That's a, that's a good question. So uh, Rudyard Kipling is an interesting individual. He was born in India, I think, in, in what was then called Bombay, now Mumbai. I think he was born in Bombay or somewhere in India. And uh, he was deeply influenced by India. He wrote a lot about India. Uh, the story of Rikki Tikki Tavi, the Mangus, uh, the Jungle Book, Mowgli, Shere Khan, Balu, Bagheera and so on. And he wrote a number of poems, some very racist poems, for instance, and some not so racist poems. So for instance, when he writes his very famous co- poem called The White Man's Burden, is a deeply racist poem. It's about the white man carrying the uncivilized, barbaric, backward, primitive natives on their back. It, 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 it implies that all progress in the world depends on the white man. Let me show you a caricature that was based on Rudyard Kipling's poem, The White Man's Burden. There it is. It shows the US and the UK carrying all the primitive, backward, native races of the world on their shoulders. So you have these rocks called barbarism, oppression, ignorance, superstition, brutality, vice, cannibalism, ignorance, slavery, cruelty. And at the, at the top you have civilization, which is represented by the British and the Americans. The Americans are carrying the Cubans, the Africans, the Native, Native Americans and so on. The British are carrying the Indians and the Chinese towards civilization. This is Rudyard Kipling's White Man's Burden, which is deeply offensive and deeply racist to the non-white peoples. He also came up with this poem called Ganga Deen, which is kind of not so <laughs> prejudiced against Indians. So this is a scene from a movie made, made about the poem, based on the poem Ganga Deen. So that's how it is. So how do people in India view Rudyard Kipling today? Most Indians still worship him. Rudyard Kipling is an integral part of any uh, English literature course at the bachelor's, bachelor's level or master's level. And he is portrayed as, as a, one of the greatest English poets, which he probably was. He was a great poet and great writer, but he was deeply racist. And that is typically not known to most Indians. Yeah. So even today, India is a deeply colonized nation. The attitudes are still deeply colonized. And in, most Indians think that the British did us a great favor by colonizing us and uplifting us from our ignorance. And because of that, most Indians still think Rudyard Kipling is a great, great person. And they don't know about his racism and his attitudes towards Indians. So that is where we are vis-a-vis Rudyard Kipling.